Hi, it's Maite Gomez Rejon, the founder of Art Bites, sharing a pineapple mango mezcal margarita inspired by the 1926 painting by Rufino Tamayo, Woman with a Fruit Basket. Let's make it. So what I'm gonna do first is I have a fancy coupe glass that I am going to fill with ice. Just to get it nice and chilled. So I'm going to cut a piece of mango. And it's kind of ugly, so I'm just gonna take the pretty the pretty part of the mango. And put it in our glass. It's gonna be delicious, it's just super ripe. So I'm just gonna pour that in the glass there. And I'm also going to add a slice of pineapple. So it's about, I would say maybe about two tablespoons of mango, two tablespoons of pineapple, and then I'm going to add a couple of sugar cubes. Um, you can also add, I'm gonna add two sugar cubes. You can add a quarter ounce of agave nectar or a simple syrup if you'd like. I'm gonna add some sugar, and I'm going to add a few sprigs of fresh mint. Let's do three sprigs of fresh mint. And now I'm just gonna muddle this all together um, so that the, pine, the mint releases its essential oils. And it already smells amazing. It smells like summer. It smells like minty, pineapple, mango, tropical deliciousness. So I'm just muddling. I want to make sure that the sugar is completely crushed and incorporated. So, some muddling releases the essential oils of the fresh herbs and it's just going to give it just a really nice, fresh flavor. Okay, so once that's all muddled, going to add one ounce of fresh lime juice. Half an ounce of triple sec. And one and a half ounces of mezcal. Now what I'm gonna do is fill this halfway with ice. And just shake it to get it nice and chilled. About 30 seconds. frothy because of the fruit. So next thing is I'm just gonna dump the water, dump the ice out of my glass, which is now chilled. Put a little lime juice on the rim and then dip it in my tajin that I have waiting right here so that every sip can have a little spicy bite to it. So now we're ready for straining the cocktail into it. Oh my god, it looks so good. Mm. 
there we go now we have our cocktail and now i'm ready to share some fun historic facts with you let me take a well i'll take a sip afterwards um so i'm using in this particular uh, margarita i mean i used pineapple and i used mango um, pineapple is actually native to Brazil, but made its way to Mexico centuries ago. And in pre-colonial Mexico, it was actually used to cure hypertension and depression, um, along with all sorts of other ailments. The mango, which is such a beloved fruit in Mexico, actually made its way into the country in 1775 from the Philippines on the Manila Galleons. The mango is actually native to India. So both of these fruits are beloved in Mexico. You see them in every fruit stand, you see them in all sorts of, of, um, of dishes. In a nod to Tamayo's native Oaxaca, um, this cocktail is actually made with mezcal, which is a beverage that is typical to that part of the country. Most mezcal in Mexico is actually made in Oaxaca. Um, and the word mezcal actually comes from the Nahual mezcali, which means oven cooked agave. Um, now, the distillation technique was introduced in the 16th century to Mexico, but they were making fermented beverages from the agave plant for centuries. Um, and the agave plant was used to make a fermented drink called pulque, which was a ceremonial drink. It was used in religious ceremonies. It was considered a gift from the gods. Priests would uh, consume pulque before um, a ritual to become euphoric. Um, sacrificial victims would drink it to sort of ease their pain. Um, people that were before going out to battle would drink it for courage. And the elderly were encouraged to drink pulque. It was thought to have nutritive uh, properties. With that said, drunkenness was frowned upon in pre-colonial Mexico, except for during the last five days of the year. It was believed, or they didn't, they weren't sure if the solar gods were going to grant another year, making it okay for everybody to get hammered, basically for five days straight. Um, so, like I said, the distilla distillation technique was introduced in the 16th century. Um, and the way that a uh, mezcal was made then is pretty much the same way that it is made today. So essentially the agave plant's uh, leaves are removed, leaving the heart of the plant um, that looks like a giant pineapple. So this heart is called the piña, which is Spanish for pineapple. This piña is then put in an underground pit and cooked for a few days, for about two days. So this cooking in an underground pit gives mezcal the characteristic uh, smoky flavor. So think about it um, almost like a mezcal barbecue. That mixture is then fermented before it is distilled. Um, it is believed that the first mezcal, like we know it today, was produced in 1535. And for centuries, mezcal was referred to as mezcal wine or mezcal brandy, which really is a beverage that combines old and new world techniques, um, traditions and techniques, much like Rufino de Mayo does in his art. So cheers to that. Thank you so much for watching. Salud.